Yeah, so I want to do a quick video about the new Mac Pro news. Um, if you follow my channel, you know that I, I do have a few Mac Pros. You can see in the back, I got a couple back there, even a few that you don't see. Um, I'm generally a PC guy, but I really do like the Mac Pro. I think, in my opinion, the Mac Pro is the most beautiful, the best performing uh, desktop tower basically ever created. And, uh, you know, any any PC that I build is like trying to be what the Mac Pro is, you know. And uh, I just love the machine. I remember like, when I was uh, working in TV and uh, my first job in TV, I, I went up to my boss and was like, yo, man, I really need a Mac Pro to do what I got to do, you know. And uh, she was like, nah. I don't think you really need that. And I was pissed. And uh, the worst thing about it, she had like six Mac Pros laying right next to the office next to me. And I was like, so you mean to tell me I can't have a Mac Pro and you got six of them sitting right here doing nothing? And she was like, well, I just can't justify it. I don't want to make anybody else mad. So I was there stuck editing on an iMac. And I was like, dang, this sucks. So what did I do? I went out and I was like, screw this, man. I'm going to go and buy my own and do what I got to do. So I went out and I started buying Mac Pros like crazy. And uh, to me, they're still like the best, the most kind of like archetypal machine out there. So we got this news the other day, and I want to show you guys this, that basically Mac is Apple is admitting that they screwed up with the Mac Pro. It's something that as soon as in 2013, I remember watching WWDC or whatever event it was, and I already knew. I said, yo, this Mac Pro is going to suck because you can't upgrade it. And it was so obvious to everybody, and that same boss that dissed me and didn't give me a Mac Pro was like, yeah, we're going to go and order six more of the old model. And uh, she was right because this model is not very good. But here's the thing. It is good for some people. And I think where Apple messed up here is that when they released this Mac Pro, they they should not have killed off the tower. They should have released them simultaneously, updated the tower, released the cylinder because the cylinder is cool. The trash can is cool. You can put it in your backpack. Like right now, I've got this big job that I have to do in Florida. I got another one that I got to do in Charlotte. And I got to lug around this big cube PC it's in this huge like storage box. I got to take a big monitor with me and stuff like that. And part of me is like, yo, I wish I had this thing right here. So part of this video is really going to show you what I think the next Mac Pro should be. OK, so we're going to start over here. This is my PC part picker. And I need you guys to work with me here because obviously Mac is going to do this thing all custom. But as far as what I'm thinking, I think that it should be somewhere along this lines. I obviously think it should be a dual processor, processor machine. It should have Xeons. It should have a custom board. Um, it should have USB 3. It should have a lot of Thunderbolt 3 ports and stuff like that. But this is basically what I'm thinking here. So we've got the Bit Phoenix Prodigy. You've probably seen a lot of people make Hackintoshes with this machine because it's got the handles, right? Like when we think Mac Pro, it's got the handles, right? And everybody wants handles with their Mac Pro, right? So I think it should be around this size, but a little bit bigger. I think it should look something like this size right here. Now, this board will fit a full EATX board, which really is what a Mac Pro should be. It should be a dual socket machine all the way, okay? Um, you know, we're looking at this machine with all the water cooling and stuff like that. Obviously, it shouldn't, Mac Pro should not be water cooled, you know, custom water cooled. I mean, they did that before with the Power Mac, but to me, you need to be moving this machine around. It shouldn't, you should never have to worry about your Mac Pro leaking. If you learned anything from the Power Mac G5 that had the water cooling, basically all of those machines are busted now, okay? But it should have this form factor. Now, the Big Phoenix Prodigy only has a micro ATX board compatibility. So it's going to need to be a little bit bigger 
to at least fit a full size ATX um, motherboard. Okay, so let's go on to the next thing. Let's go on to the next thing. So the processor. Uh, now what I'm building here is what I would consider the base model um, Mac Pro. Okay. Um, so obviously the base model Mac Pro is not going to have the processor frequency that you would really covet, you know, but it's going to have your core count. All right. So I think basically every new Mac Pro that comes out in 2018 should have at least eight cores. That is the bare minimum. No more less than eight cores. Um, and they should come at least now, at least with a a single eight core processor at about this speed. Um, now, obviously your top end model should have something like, you know, two, maybe 12 cores is kind of overkill these days. Even 10 cores is overkill. I think right now, eight cores is kind of the happy medium. That's what I've got on my desktop right now. I've got two um, eight core 2690s in my desktop right now. And uh, really, even that, I've it's very rare when I tax that whole machine, okay? But your clock speed, you're not playing games on this machine. You're editing video, you're doing 3D work, you're doing a lot of multitasking, and you need cores to multitask, okay? If you're going to be having your whole Adobe Suite open, Maya, Blender, all that kind of stuff, you need to be able to multitask super easy, okay? The Cooler Master, obviously, like I said, it should be air cool. We should have some kind of, you know reasonable air cooler or something uh you know along the same lines as a cooler master 212 evo um the board i think the board should look something like this okay obviously you want usb 3.1 right um this board does have usb 3.1 it does not have thunderbolt you should definitely have dual gigabit because there's a lot of stuff out there that actually connects to your computer, not over USB, but actually over gigabit, uh, especially when you're dealing with video. Okay, so you're gonna need more than two uh, gigabit ports. Uh, and honestly, I think they should step it up and put the 10 gig ethernet standard on every Mac Pro. That would kill it, okay? Uh, as far as audio, I think they should stick with the audio, the optical audio in, the optical audio out. You obviously want a headphone jack on your Mac Pro. Um, here's looking at you, Apple. Um, I don't think they should have any USB 2. No USB 2. Definitely not any SATA. Definitely not any PS2 ports. They should have you like six U, uh, Thunderbolt 3. Give us like four uh, USB 3. Give us the optical in and out like they had on the old school Mac Pro. Dual gigabit, dual 10 gigabit um, Ethernet jacks, of course, from Intel. Okay. So, uh, you know, and like I said, it should be dual CPU. It should be uh, at least an ATX form factor, something along those lines. And of course, Apple's going to put Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on every board. So it should definitely have something like that. Should it have external antennas? Um, Macs have always done well without external antennas, so they can probably do without that. Next on the list, every Mac Pro should come standard with 64 gigabytes of RAM. Standard, that should be the bare minimum, 16 gigabytes. This is 2017, gonna be 2018 when these comes out. Definitely, definitely, definitely 64 gigs. ECC, okay, man, let me tell you the difference between ECC memory and um, regular memory, the stability of your machine will, will go through the roof. Okay, and that's what we want out of a pro machine. Next thing, we want um, ATI cards. And you don't want to be, put a big power hungry hot monster in your Mac Pro. You don't want anything that's super loud, okay? But they should go with the RX 480 eight gigabyte. And they should allow you to put two in there. Vega's not out yet, uh, but from what I hear, they're gonna rebatch the RX 480. They should definitely give you the option to put either a four gigabyte, an eight gigabyte, and it shouldn't be the super high-end crazy um, Vega chip. It should be something along this line because another thing that you want to think about with Mac Pro is a lot of places like I used to, I used to have three of these running at the same time. You don't want your room all hot. You don't want the thing to be loud. 
and uh, you don't want your power bill going through the roof. And another thing about this, it only uses one six pin connector. Um, so you, you really shouldn't need um, a lot of power cables running all throughout your machine and something like that. Something like the RX 480 would do very well in the new Mac Pro, okay? Um, I'm a big OpenCL guy. I do, like right now, I'm not doing a lot with my Mac Pros, but um, usually they're just sitting around doing some scientific computing, some boink stuff and stuff like that. Now here is another big kind of controversial thing. In my opinion, as an editor, as a content producer, the Mac Pro should still have at least a single DVD drive. I write a lot of discs uh, for clients. Writing a disc is still the easiest way for me to send my client that lives in the middle of nowhere in Georgia or whatever a copy of what I've produced for them. I can just throw it in the mailbox, send it priority, and it'll be there in two days, and they don't have to worry about downloading my 40 gigabyte um, MP4 or whatever Blu-ray file or whatever on their, you know, two megabit per second uh, Comcast or, you know, AT&T, whatever. Um, what do they call it? DSL, right. It's still the easiest way to do it. I know there's external drives out there, but if you're toting this machine around, nobody wants to tote around an external drive. Um, it's just a pain in the butt and nobody wants to do that. So one thing I did forget, um, storage, 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 internal storage. Obviously this thing should be M.2 to the max. We should have like four M.2 slots. Uh, we should be able to plug as many M.2 SSDs into this machine as we want. And it should definitely have at least two bays um, for some big uh, spinning storage, okay? So M.2, I would say 4.0, okay? Because that would be Mac, Mac or Apple pushing the bar on this thing. So this is what I'm thinking right here. Like I said, I'm going to try to keep this updated. This is going to kind of be my little thing that I do on the uh, channel uh, until the new Mac Pro comes out. I'm going to try to do some other videos, but um, yeah, you know, I think uh, I'm really happy that Apple is releasing a new Mac Pro. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, when it comes out, I may even buy one. So thanks for watching the video, and I'll be back later. Peace.